Dr. Boxer Walkler joins us now, and what did you find when you examined her? I found the keratoconus got worse because she did delay in seeking treatment. And that's a really important message with keratoconus because it's a degenerative disease. And when you see a story like Kristen's, it fills you, fills you with hope. And you have to do something, though. If you take no action, you keep repeating the same pattern. So when you see a success story, it's a really important message to then do something about it to help yourself. Why, why does it, over time, gets worse, pregnancy, things like that, why does that make it worse? Keratoconus naturally degenerates and gets worse on its own, oftentimes, but when you add pregnancy to it, those hormones weaken the cornea further, so it's like adding fire to that fuel of progressive deterioration. Given where she is now, I know there's been a lot of damage, but, but what can be done? She needs first the Holcomb C3R procedure, which was named after Stephen Holcomb, the Olympic bobsled champion. And that's a revolutionary procedure because it involves vitamin applications to the cornea with a special type of light, and it's non-invasive with a one-day recovery, and that strengthens the cornea so it stops the degeneration from getting worse. And the second procedure that she needs is Intax, which are micro inserts that get placed under the cornea, and that helps to push back part of the keratoconus. It's about a seven minute procedure per eye, and it helps to improve the vision. And then the one eye that has worse keratoconus, there's a third procedure called CK, which applies heat spots to the cornea, and that can give further improvement on top of what the intacts do. So with these types of procedures, you know, what, what, you, what do you wanna know? You wanna know, can this help, right? Yeah, I wanna know. If it can help. Well, that's some very good news, because I'm gonna do these procedures for you. Thank you. Thank you. And we're gonna take care of everything for you, too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. Well, Megan, you know, Kristen said all she wanted to do was to be able to read again, and we had her come back on the stage and read. <laughs> Maybe we can have you and your daughter come do your nails together on okay. our stage. How does that sound? <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you so much.